What's going on Workforce? Brian here and in today's video we're talking about Nexion, the company that's been hired to produce the Final Fantasy XI mobile port, which we have not heard really anything about for a long time. I think the last real hint we got was sometime early 2018, talking about they'd show it when the battle system was ready, and it's been well over a year since then. So um, the reason why I think this is interesting is obviously Nexion is suddenly up for sale. The CEO, the owner, the majority shareholder, along with his wife, the holding company, all the wonderful business uh, <laughs> mumbo jumbo is uh, is looking for a buyer. Uh, he recently had a scandal in which that he was like, you know, found, you know, innocent or something of that nature. And now he's looking to kind of get out of the gaming business. This is uh, like South Korea is one of their biggest gaming uh, giants of a company and within gaming culture and within gamers especially here uh, within I guess the Final Fantasy circle we don't really technically have the highest of praise for the company as well uh, they've done a lot of stuff they've <laughs> they've had a hand in a lot of different games and they've been working like we said on Final Fantasy 11 mobile what what do I think this has like if any impact on 11 mobile well honestly I don't think this is uh, really going to have much of an impact if there's a contract that Square Enix has with Nexion. I'm, a sh I'm assuming that contract is going to be put up you know, for sale as a part of the acquisition with the company. However, there could always be any kind of clause saying that like, well, if you can't deliver on time or if you, or certain things aren't met or, you know, in the case of a sale, maybe that there would be something there. But there, we could, we could only presume, and I've seen a lot of conversation <laughs> revolving around, well, does this mean that Square Enix might buy Nexion? Does it mean that uh, they might take back over Final Fantasy XI mobile uh, development. And honestly, I think they could take it back over, they could cancel the contract, they could do really what they want if they weren't getting the results they were looking for. The questions I have about the game are, have, uh, have has the scope changed? Has things changed? Personally, my personal hope that I've talked about numerous times is that they drop the quote unquote mobile, still bring it out on mobile, but uh, think beyond that. I think Fortnite in 2018 showed us what's possible with crossplay, and when we talk about mobile, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, I think there's definitely a market uh, for this game for that remaster, and that's kind of my personal hope. I I don't think this speaks to that at all <laughs> uh, just yet, at least. But um, you know, that's my hope. That my hope, the fact is that we haven't heard anything about it. Uh, that it still remains to be kind of this, this quiet. Uh, you know, project that continues to be wondered about, and they kind of shown us screenshots here and there. But uh, as far as it goes, I you know I don't know if this is going to have any impact on it. I, I they could Square Enix could have taken it back over. Nexion could be still well developing it. We would have to wait and see when the Nexion's next kind of like product pipeline uh, you know is announced. That's how we've gotten most of our updates. Is like they're like, yep, Final Fantasy XI Mobile. We're still working on it. So. Anyway, guys, uh, that, I mean, nothing too fancy here. Uh, this article is from Kowatu. I'll include the link in the description below if you guys want to go, you know, read this for yourself. It pretty much just summarizes that he wants to give $100 million to charity. Uh, maybe China is going to be interested in buying it. I don't think Square Enix is going to be interested, namely because, it, I mean, they could be as a company, but it depends on what, you know, what's the price point <laughs> for the company. What are they going to get for it? What properties and IP? Because to buy the company just because you have, they're actually, you know, you're actually paying them for uh, work on a, on a specific project. I mean, they would have to have some, definitely some IP and some business things like that, that they are gonna wanna have to, they wanna own. Uh, and, and they could, you know, who knows? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, uh, let me know what you guys are thinking, feeling, anything Final Fantasy XI mobile uh, in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, but for <laughs> work to game, my name is Brian. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Oh, hello. Were you expecting somebody? Chuck-like? <laughs> well, I'll never tell where he is. Only that if you want to see your friend again, you should totally hit subscribe. And maybe even a thumbs up. Thumbs down don't make me happy. And when I'm not happy... Something happens to Chuck. <laughs> I'm not joking. Goodbye. Subscribe. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. 
See you next time.